Hey guys, Dan here. And you know, I've been watching all these silly teenagers make these goofy faces with this Tide Pod challenge. And basically, I'd like to, you know, do some, suggest something. It's a little more dangerous. Um, it's a little edgier. Um, I, it's called the Trump Supporter Challenge. Just, I would suggest all you people out there who are like me, who are still with her, um, I'll always be with her, you know what I'm saying? And always resist, you know, unless he's nice looking, then don't resist too hard. Um, but anyway, just the Trump supporter challenge is simple. You go up to a Trump supporter, you know, a Republican, they're just horrible people. And so you go up to them and try to give them a hug. And their breath is going to smell. Um, they're probably going to yell racial slurs. They're probably going to be drinking something from Chick-fil-A. Um, and I just suggest that we try to go up and hug Trump supporters. I know, and it, it's it's more dangerous than the Tide Pod Challenge. And the reason is, is because there's been more confirmed deaths from talking to Trump supporters um, than any Tide Pod Challenge. Also, if they try to grab you by the pussy, okay, call the police. Now, make sure when you call 911, say, I want a police officer that's either, either female or minority, because if they're white, they're going to shoot you. Um, you know, and probably yell racial slurs, you know, um, basically, because Dog the Bounty Hunter is the hero of every white, racist, Zionist police officer. So, um, absolutely, guys, just try this. Um, you know, I, I tried it, okay? I have relatives that are Trump supporters, just hideous people. And I was hospitalized for, like, um, two days from stress, trauma, um, and other stuff. I had a sore throat, but that was a side point. <laughs> um, so just resist.